Funko Mama here today to respond to a video that I was tagged in. Um, it was Define Music Tag Video, and I was tagged by Matthew Movies. Um, and basically, it's five questions about my music preferences um, and maybe some of my past history with music and whatnot. And um, I will answer the five questions, and then at the end, I will tag some more YouTube users or video vloggers, whatever you want to call them, and so that they can come and they can do their own um, tag video, hopefully. If not, that's okay too. No big deal. So let me tell you quickly about Matthew Movies, the person who tagged me. Um, he is a super cool dude. He's my Canadian friend. Um, he, he does a lot of movie reviews. He does Funko Pops. He likes, uh, he likes to enter giveaways. I've noticed that recently. Um, and also he recently did a collaborative video um, with one of our fellow YouTubers um, over in in England. So, well, Great Britain, I'm not sure which one, but anyway, that being said, check him out below. I will make sure to put his link so that you can go check out his channel and subscribe if you'd like to. I would suggest it because he's a really cool dude. So, that being said, let's get started with the, with the uh, five questions. Once again, this is the Define Music Tag video. Question number one. What is my preferred music genre? I like mid-70s all the way up through the 80s. I like mid-70s, late 70s, and all of the 80s music. I mean, I like all I like all kinds of music, but I have my most of my favorite songs come from that time period, and um, it's my mom and dad's fault, I guess, because I was wasn't born until 83, but I was raised um, listening to that kind of stuff and my mom singing and my dad pretending to sing and all this kind of stuff so my dad's not a very good singer but my mom is she's a great singer so question number two what is my most memorable meaningful song well once again back to my mom um, walk like an Egyptian by the bangles in 1986 um, it's my mom and I used to dance and sing to this and we would just go around you know you know do the little thing whatever and I just remember that as a kid doing that with my mom and how much fun we had and I will never forget that and um, I actually have a second song excuse me and it's uh, Black Water by the Doobie Brothers and that was uh, 1974 and the reason why this song means a lot is my friend was my best friend Lindsay growing up um, all the way through high school she passed away two years ago but I remember we were in middle school we were going to our grandma's house and we were sitting in the back of the car sharing a headphone set like each of us had one side of the you know the, the ones that go over your ears and I had my Sony Disman and uh, I remember hitting bumps you know and it would stop you know how that used to do a lot you young ones probably have no idea but um, listening to that song over and over and singing and us harmonizing the different, part, different parts and stuff so um, she will forever be in my memory and that song with her will be also um, number three what are my top five albums of all time? Um, we're going to start with number one, which is Fleetwood Mac Rumors. It's from 1977. I actually have that one on vinyl. I found it and I was so excited. Um, and number two is going to be The Eagles and the album Eagles from 1972. And the third one is The Doobie Brothers. What Were Once Vices Are Now Habits, 1974, and I have that one on vinyl. And that one has um, black water on it, so that's pretty exciting. And number four is Mr. Mister, Welcome to the Real World from 1985, and I have that one on vinyl. I mean, you've got Broken Wings, Is It Love, Kiri, I mean, the epitome of 80s is right here in my hands. And number five would be the Dave Matthews Band, um, without the, the Dave Matthews Band, Under the Table and Dreaming from 1994. I love Dave Matthews. It's really hard to pick any of his albums that are my favorite, but that would be the one that I have the most favorite songs on. So, Now, number four, who is your favorite band or artist? Um, once again, we're going to go back to Fleetwood Mac um, and Stevie Nicks. Um, I, she did an appearance on American Horror Story, Coven, I guess it would be two seasons ago, three, anyway, it was amazing, she um, 
did the Seven Wonders song that is actually um, released in the 1987 album uh, Tango in the Night, which I had to look that up, but I, I don't believe I had ever heard that song, but I absolutely fell in love with that song. Love, 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 love that song, and I love Stevie Nicks, um, and that was uh, my dad's crush. Like, he was in love with Stevie Nicks. So, now, number five. What is the first album I remember buying and or getting? Um, technically, number one, it was it was a single and it was on cassette, so I don't think it counts. But that was my very first one, and it was Lisa Loeb, "Stay," uh, from 1995. And uh, after that, um, I couldn't I couldn't figure I couldn't remember if it was one or the other of these two CDs. Both were from '95. Um, one was the Presidents of the United States of America. And the album was also the Presidents of the United States of America. Um, and you couldn't go wrong. They had the song that was Kitty and Peaches, um, Lump, Doom Buggy, Bull Weevil, and just to name a few. That whole album, I know it seems silly to some of you, but it that's like the epitome of my childhood. We listened to that song like crazy. That and Chumbawamba and uh, who else do we? Anyway. Um, now, and the number third one, which I didn't know if it was my second one or not, was um, it was Jars of Clay, and the album was Jars of Clay back in 95. Um, the big song on it was Flood. It's a Christian band, and their song Flood, like, actually made it to the rock rock stations, and it was just a really good song, and I saw them in concert, and um, I was just listening to it. It's It's got a really good message, and it's also got a really great beat, and sound to it so check that out if you've never seen that before um now to the fun part um this is um these are the people that i'm going to tag so maybe they'll do it if not that's completely okay um if these are in no particular order number one is bozzy tv um he is one of my buddies he is well my cats are party <laughs> he is um one of my aussie friends he likes to do wrestling he likes to do live um reactions to different wrestling matches he does really wacky challenges like hot sauce challenges and um pepper challenges and i actually won his 50 subscriber giveaway and he sent me some really sweet stuff you should check out that video of me unboxing so number two is a british geeky guy obviously he's british and um he's pretty well known in the funko community and the just the nerd community he does a lot of unboxings he um funko he just basically overall geekiness, so check him out. He's hilarious, um, and Mrs. BGG gets on there, and she's she's awesome. Check him out. Uh, number three is uh, Jesse B. He um, is half of what used to be Hawaii Nerds, but they decided to, to part ways um, due to time constraints and being able to film and all that. So he's a really cool dude, really nice. Um, he has a lot of Funko videos and unboxings, um, but he, overall he's just, he's funny. He's really funny. You guys should, should watch him if you want to laugh. He's really cool, so make sure you check him out and subscribe. Um, and number four is who got, who's got Pops, um, formerly Max Hedron. Um, he's from Texas, and he does a lot of unboxings. Um, he, a lot of Funko. I'm so jealous of his Funko collection. He does a lot of giveaways, some really sweet giveaways. You should check that out. And um, he has gorgeous teeth. You'll see. Just go look. And um, make sure to go check him out as well. And number five is Spider Monkey. Um, he is a fellow nurse and just overall goofy, funny guy. He does a lot, a ton of unboxings. He does uh, mail calls with shout outs. And he's really good about being active and commenting on your channel um, as well as he's very positive and uplifting and always has something really nice to say to make you feel good so appreciate that buddy so anyway once again check out um, Matthew's movies excuse me Matthew movies um, to subscribe to his channel and I hope that at least one or two of them, the five that I tagged will, will do this video so thank you guys for your time and y'all have a wonderful day